All right, I know you're checking this out. It's funny, right? Because, you know, the seesaw is unequal and you have to maintain that. How do you do that? You still need to apply your addition and subtraction rules. We will solve one step, inequalities, and how is it in real world situation. Ready? Here we go. And remember, we talked about vocabulary before. Remember the symbols, what it means. All right. Special... Uh, Highlight on the following words, the word um, maximum, at most, what else? The word minimum or at least, what symbol would it mean? Okay, remember all of this? Next, we will graph, we have been graphing equation. For example, after solving a problem, you have x is equal to 3. If you want to graph it in a number line, remember, these are all the positives. These are all the negatives. Where is 3? There's only one solution. And look, there you go. You put a shaded dot exactly on 3. Where is 3? 3 is between 2 and 4. Definitely, that's 3. But these are equations. There's only one dot, one dot, one dot. But guess what? In inequalities, it will be a different situation. Now, check this out. For inequalities, let's start with the following. Okay, let's start with greater than or equal. So, you're saying now, what are the numbers greater than or equal to 3? So, look, I put a dot on 3 because it includes the 3. And all the greater numbers. What are the greater numbers? It could be 4. It could be 5. That's why I put an arrow because it will never end. It could go up until infinity. So remember, greater than or equal, shaded to the right or closed to the right. Okay, closed circle. Okay, next, x is less than or equal to 3. That means it's not greater. I go to the opposite side. I move to the left. I move to the left, and again, it's a closed circle because that includes 3. Because of the equal sign says that includes 3. So this one, look at the red line. That's how you graph x is less than or equal to 3. That's how you graph it. Okay, put a red line, and again, it is closed. Closed. Every time you see the equal sign below, it is a closed figure. This is closed. This is closed. Now, every time you see not closed, there is no equal sign. But this one says greater than, right? Greater than. Again, these are the, look, they're actually almost the same. Except for this, it's an open circle. This is the open circle. Because it will not include 3. Only the numbers greater than 3. So, the graph would be the red line. Not shaded to the right. Okay, how about the next one? This would be less than. What are the numbers less than 3? It will not include 3. That's why it is not shaded. It is an open circle. And I move to the left because these are the numbers less than 3. It could be negative 2. It could be negative 4. It could be 0. All of these are solution. But the most important thing you should remember is that it is a what? It is a open circle. Okay, open circle. Now, you're ready to solve and graph. Let's try the following. Okay. So, solving inequalities is just like solving equations. Instead, this is not an equal sign, but an inequality sign. Again, x wants to be alone. Alone. Hey, minus 2, get away, minus 2. I don't want you here, minus 2. Okay. Add to the left yo, add to the right yo. I showed it, I showed it, then I can cancel it. Yay, hey, X goes down, finally I'm alone. The symbol goes down, don't write equal, we're wor working on inequalities, okay? 4 plus 2 is 6. So the numbers would be numbers greater than 6, right? All of the numbers greater than 6, it could be 7, 8, 9, 10. There's a lot of numbers greater than 6. So, where do I start? Do I start at 6? No, 6 is not included. So, it is an open circle. See that? Not shaded. 
and the greater number are, goes to the right or to the left? To the right. There you go. So that's how I graph it. Open to the right. Next, let's solve this one. The opposite of adding, oh, again, x wants to be alone. You are not alone. So I need to get rid of u plus 9. Get away. Opposite, subtract to the left, yo. Subtract to the right, yo. I showed it, I showed it. Then I can cancel it. So x is happy. Hey, I'm alone. Bring down the symbol. Greater than or equal. All right. To what? 11 minus 9 is 2. All right. So let's look at 2. Circle 2. Okay. Will I shade 2? Yes, because look, the solutions are the numbers greater than or equal to. It starts with 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. All the numbers including 2. So if it includes 2, it is a closed circle. And the greater numbers goes to the right or to the left? It goes to the right. These are the greater numbers. So the solutions could be any of those positive numbers, okay, including 2. Okay, see the difference between a closed and an open? They're both greater than. When is it closed? When is it open? Answer it. Now let's try an example with fractions and decimals. Okay. X wants to be alone. I don't need you. Therefore, I need to get rid of you. Get away plus 5, minus 5 for you, and minus 5 for you. Cancels out. Therefore, X goes down. Yeah, hey, I'm alone. Copy the sign. It says less than. Negative and negative, you just add them up. But this one, I don't want an improper fraction. I could name this as negative 1 and 1 half. Improper to mix. Now, is it easier to add them? Yes, negative 6 and a half. So your solutions are the, all the numbers less than 6, negative 6 and a half. Okay, so since it's negative, I go to the left of the number line. I'll use this as 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. Where is negative 6 and a half? So, it will pass through all of this, but will it be on the right or on the left? Remember, for negatives, it moves to the left. So, where would that be? It would be here. I put a circle. All right. All the numbers less than goes there. That's how I graph it. Is it open or closed? Open. All right. Because there is no equal sign. All right, for the next one, for the next problem, okay, if you look at this, the X is on the right side and the number is there. You know what? I want it here. I want that X there and I want that there. So you can just switch places. That's okay. So I put X plus 6.25 on the left. U 3.5, I place you there. But, 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 don't forget, you have to switch the sign. Okay, if that's a less than, I will write greater than now. Okay, that's possible. Okay, X wants to be alone. Get away 6.5 minus 6.5, 25 minus 6.25 on the left, minus 6.25 on the right. That cancels out. X is greater than, let's see now, 6. 6.25 is greater. Take away the 3.5. That becomes 2.75 negative. 2.75 but negative. All right. Numbers greater than that. What are the numbers greater than that? Okay, let's make a number line. Oh, negative once again. So I'm in the negative. So start with 0, I could see negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. All right, so where is 2.75? Start from 0, negative 2.75 should be, should be here, starting at 0, negative 2.7, 2, negative 2 is here. 75 is almost 3 fourths, okay? So it's somewhere there. Not exactly half, a little more here. So what do I do? I put a circle on here, all right? Shaded or not? Not shaded, okay? 
It says greater. Where are the greater numbers? To the left or to the right? The greater numbers are to the right. Okay? For negative numbers, the greater numbers are going to the right. See that? Okay. It's not shaded because it's open. It's only closed when you see the equal sign. Okay, Ellen drew a graph showing the solution to an inequality. So this is the solution, and there are four possible inequalities. Therefore, let, we need to solve. Let's solve for the first one. 3.25 less than 2.5 plus R, okay? All right, so let's just solve it as it is. Look at this. Minus 2.5 for you, minus 2.5 for you. That cancels out. So R is on the right side still. That's possible. 3.25, 3.25 minus 2.5 is 0 0.75. Oh, I don't need to rewrite it. 0 0.75. Yeah, I could need to write it. Uh, okay. But it's going to be positive. So, this is a negative. So, I cannot use the first one. Okay, the second one. 3.25 greater than 2.5 plus R. You know, it's the same thing. But again, let's rewrite it. 2. Point, minus 2.5 minus 2.5. Okay, that cancels out therefore r is um subtract it that's going to be 0.75 okay but this is positive right not negative so it cannot be that okay so let's try the third one the third one negative 3.25 less than negative 2.5 plus r i need to get rid of this plus 2.5 plus 2.5 that cancels out okay the r will be on the right side and then this will be a negative 0 0.75 okay oh is that a less than you know what if i move the r here i would understand it better if i move the the number there negative 0 0.75 i will switch the sign so R should be greater than negative 0.75. Does this arrow show greater? Greater? No. It shows lesser. So it cannot be U. So therefore, you know, by process of elimination, that's the correct answer. All right. Next. Alan is running a marathon. He would like to finish the race under, oh, under 5.5. He was already run, he has already run three hours. The inequality is here. Already run three plus a certain number of hours. He wants it under 5.5. Okay, we will graph this. So let's rewrite it then. So 3 plus the time should be under 5.5. Under. It cannot be exact. Lesser. That's why it's less than. Okay. Let's get rid of you. Um, 3. Minus 3 for you. Minus 3 for you. That cancels out. The, my time should be less than 5 minus 3 is 2.5. Which one would show less than 2.5? So... Why are you shaded? Shaded is only for greater than or equal, less than or equal, not you. Why are you shaded? Okay, it cannot be that because that's only for equal sign. So 2.5 check, 2.5 check. This is less than, therefore, which one would show less than? The arrow to the right or arrow to the left? The arrow to the left shows less than. Next. Which inequality is equivalent to this? All right, let's simplify until we get that. So positive, this will cancel. 22 minus 15 is a 7. So n less than 7. They're totally different. Are they the same? Okay. 
Maybe they're the same. If you simplify, check this out. Minus 15, minus 15 cancels out and is less than 7. Yeah, they're the same. Check. How about this? And plus 15 is less than, you can subtract these two is 7, right? So if you want to get rid of this, minus 15, minus 15, that cancels out. And is less than negative 8. Are they the same? No, not you. Okay, next. These two I could subtract, so that becomes n minus 7 is less than 22 minus 22 is 0, right? Let's move the minus 7 plus 7 for you, plus 7 for you, cancels out, n is less than 7. Yes, it's the same. See that? The same. See that? The same. This one, no. All right, so you could be an answer. Next. Um, we're now doing this one. So, these two I could add. N plus 21 less than 22 plus 6 is 28. Okay, let's move it around. Minus 21 for you, minus 21 for you. Cancels out. N is less than 7. Yes, it's the same as this, the original. Correct. Now. For the last one, for the last one, so n plus 15 minus 22 is negative 7 less than 22. All right, you could write it n minus 7 is less than 22. Okay, plus 7 plus 7, that cancels out. n is less than 7 plus 22 is 29. Okay, it's different, right? Not you. So those are our three answers. One, two, three, not you. Okay, last. Janrik and John. Janrik and John are playing a guessing game with integers. Janrik wrote these clues to help John guess the unknown integers. So this is clue number one and clue number two. What is the value of the integer n okay let's solve the first one then n plus 6 is greater than or less or equal to 15 so what could be those numbers minus 6 for you minus 6 for you n is now alone greater than or equal to 15 minus 6 is a 9 so the numbers equal or greater than 9 so it could be you it could be you it could be you but not you because it says greater than or equal to 9. Okay, now there's a second clue. n plus 5 is less than 15. So I need to get rid of you. Minus 5. Minus 5 on the left. Minus 5 on the right. That cancels out. n is less than 10. All right. Our number should be less than 10. Um, look at 19. 19, you're not less than 10. Sorry. 22, are you less than 10? No, not you. So only 9 is less than 10. So con two conditions are met. So that's the answer. Again, we were solving for inequalities. It's just like the simple one-step equation. But only here, you need to preserve the signs. Okay? All right. So remember, results is equal to action plus motivation. Good luck in your practices.